Celebrating Point Claire's centennial only in 2011 may have been a bit of a slap in the face to a big part of its early residents. If you lived in one of Quebec's most cherished suburban cities, Point Claire, back in 2011, then you may have taken part in or witnessed one of its many centennial celebrations. It lasted throughout the whole year. But what and who exactly are we celebrating? Because the borders of Point Claire that you see today, those weren't really established until the mid to late 1950s. So who exactly were we celebrating? Well, to get that answer, we gotta go back to 1911. Most of what was then called the Lakeshore was pretty established, going from Valwa to Lakeside, to Cedar Avenue, the area in Bowling Green, and of course, the only area actually known as Point Claire, Point Claire Village, Le Village de Point Claire. That was the only area referred to as Point Claire. If you were in Valwa, you weren't in Point Claire. You understand? Let's move forward. But by 1911, the village of Point Claire wanted to become incorporated. They wanted a bigger self-governing body and they wanted probably more defined borders. Now, the community on Cedar Avenue, which at that point had already a school, pretty well established, also wanted to become incorporated, but independent of Point Claire. But with a little bit of coaxing, they indeed joined Point Claire in the incorporation of 1911, thus becoming the town of Point Claire. And that's what we celebrated in 2011. From Cedar Avenue all the way to the village and with Bowling Green in the middle, that was Point Claire. Just those guys. So what of the other communities along the lakeshore? Vawa and Lakeside. They weren't even in on this. Let's push ahead almost one year later. The village of Point Claire had a couple things up their sleeve that they wanted to do to maybe seem attractive to these other communities. One was they wanted to get rid of gas, they wanted to put in electric lighting on the streets. The second thing is running water. Now these are two things that the other communities did not have. Now although Valwa was pretty established at the time, they were lacking in those benefits that the town was about to have. In fact, from an article written in 1911, a representative from Valwa states, we all want the improvements, for we are 4,000 years behind. So on October 17th, 1912, two delegates from Valwa and two delegates from Lakeside went to Point Claire's town hall to meet with the council of Point Claire to give their demands. You see, the town of Point Claire wanted them to be a part of the town. More people, more taxes, why not? And Valwa and Lakeside did need electric lighting, a new sewer system, and running water. That would only come from the village. And this is what they went back and forth about. These discussions between these two communities and the town of Point Claire would continue further into September and again into October. And to make things a little more complicated, Beaconsfield actually heard about these wonderful electric lights and they wanted to get in on it. So Point Claire was going through a little bit of a tug of war thing between Valwa, Lakeside, and Beaconsfield. They want to have water over here and sewage. These guys want to have lighting, but we want them to be incorporated. Beaconsfield, maybe not. It was a bit of a bowl of spaghetti. Let's just do a little side note here that while all these discussions were happening, on January 11th, 1913, the running water system in Point Claire, in the little town of Point Claire, turned on for the first time. So Point Claire 2023 actually marks a 110 year anniversary of our running water. That's pretty neat, right? But let's get back to the story. So now that Point Claire has running water, they only became even more desirable for these little communities just to its east. So only a few days after this happened with the water system, they actually had a vote in the town of Point Claire to see if the communities of Lakeside and Valwa should be brought into the town of Point Claire. There weren't that many voters, but 69 had voted yes, and only 12 had voted no. So there you have it. I'm sure by February or so of 1913, Point Claire, the town, grew that much more incorporating Lakeside and now all of Valwa. So what's the big point of all this? Well, the big point is that 1913 is an incredibly important year in Point Claire's history, as was 1911. I don't want to take anything away from that, but it is important to remember 1913 as well. I think that it was the unification of 
a very different demographic than the village. Vawa and Lakeside was mostly populated by an Anglophone demographic, whereas the town of Point Claire or the village was historically a French Canadian village, one of the original villages that goes all the way back to the original European settlers. So if we look at 1913, 1913 is really the date that we could say Point Claire became a great Canadian story of demographic harmony. Enjoy your weekend.